Carol, this is a really special year for Keystone. It's your 40th anniversary. Absolutely. Tell me about it, Carol. Absolutely. We're real excited about it, Jerry. We've been uh, located in Canton, South Dakota for 40 years coming this fall. So we're going to celebrate all year long. Um, we are an alcohol and drug and gambling treatment center and dual diagnosis. And we're just excited about it. How, do things, how has it changed over the years in dealing with substance abuse? Oh, it really has, Jerry. I was, I was a nurse when they first opened the center, so I've been there all 40 years. And at first we just did adults, and it was just inpatient. And it was mostly alcohol. But with the drug problems that have developed during the 40 years, we've had to enlarge our program to encompass those problems also. And about uh, 25 years ago, we added an adolescent program because we were seeing more and more kids in need. What's your message to someone watching this right now, Carol? And that person is involved in substance abuse, could be alcohol, drugs, or a combination of both. What would you say? Well, the big thing I'd like to tell people is there's hope. Because most people, by the time they come to this, they are pretty discouraged with their life and their situation, and they've lost hope. And coming into treatment, we hope they can see a light at the end of the tunnel, that their life can change, and it can change for their family, because their family is so affected, too. And it may be inpatient in Canton or the outpatient program in Sioux Falls. You know, earlier on in the disease, sometimes outpatient is And sufficient. as you mentioned, Carol, there is always hope. Yes, absolutely. That's the big thing. Life does change. We're, we believe in the 12-step philosophy, a holistic approach. People are mental, physical, and spiritual. Got to, got to take care of all three parts. All right. How can people get a hold of Keystone? They can call our 800 number, 1-800-992-1921, and it's answered 24 hours a day. Right. Thank you, Carol. Oh, you bet.